Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a full review of the O-Ray BKA-1 8K Audio Extractor. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to incorporate your audio gear into your existing media setup by digitally separating the audio component from any HDMI media stream and then allowing you to pass that audio along to a soundbar or home stereo for that full theater experience. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second, and it's both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. It can also accept a standard HDMI input signal or the more advanced HDMI ARC signal, and it works perfectly fine with both. It also provides advanced EDID management capabilities, which allows you to make whatever changes are needed to accommodate a wide range of different audio and video file types. And finally, the product provides both a digital and analog output to make incorporating older stereos or newer stereos incredibly easy. Now, as part of this review, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit. I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it, and I'll point out a few things that really make this product special that you can use to compare it to other products you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. So when you first pop open the box, there's not a lot inside. You'll find the BKA-1 and a single power supply. This is a standard 5 volt, 1 amp DC power supply. You can plug this end into any wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module and provides all the power you'll need for operation. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, and then I'll point out a few things that I really like about this particular product that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, right here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video, and this is the media content that I'd like to separate the audio from so I can pass that along to my stereo equipment. Right here I have a digital soundbar set up, this accepts an optical SPDIF connection, and here I have an older analog stereo that can only accept an analog left and right signal. In front of me, I have the BKA-1. Now the first two connections I'll make are from my output device to the unit and from my media player to the unit, and I'll start by disconnecting the HDMI cable from the media player and plugging that directly into the HDMI output port on the unit, and then I need to connect my media player up I have another HDMI cable right here, and I'll plug that into the media player first, and then the input connection on the back of the BKA-1. Now we're all set for power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC port on the back of the unit. Now the minute I add power, it starts that internal power on self-test, where it's checking all the electronics. It's also checking the input media and the output device to see if either of these are HDMI ARC compliant. This unit works fine with a standard HDMI connection, but if you have HDMI ARC, you can turn that on by tapping this button right here, and you'll see the ARC indicator come on. And that gives you a little bit more flexibility in the type of audio content that you can actually push to your digital soundbar. So let's start off with this digital connection. I've got an SPDIF right here, and I'll just take that connector off the end, and I'll plug that into the output port on the back of the BKA-1. Make sure I get it aligned correctly and there's the audio. So what you're listening to here is audio from that media that's being separated from the HDMI signal and converted to an optical signal and sent through the SP diff to the soundbar. And now I'll connect up the stereo speaker. We just put this aside. I've got an output connection on this right here. You can hear the hum. You know it's, you know it's analog. We plug that into the three and a half millimeter port. And there's my older stereo. So again, what's happening is the media content is passing through the BKA-1, and this unit is separating the audio component, converting it to an optical connection and an analog connection so I can pump it to a stereo system that's external. Now the interesting thing is that the unit has both outputs live at the same time. So you can actually mix and match digital equipment with older analog equipment. There's the digital. So both outputs are working at the same time. So again, you can mix digital equipment with older analog equipment and use whatever works best for you. And that just gives you a lot of flexibility in how you're gonna configure the device. And it really is just that simple to get it working.
The O-Ray BKA-1 features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and really helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. And once it passes that test, it'll light the power LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is an input indicator. When you make the connection from the product to a media device, that HDMI connection is checked. Once it's been verified, that LED will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is an output indicator. When you make a connection between the module and your monitor, that HDMI connection is checked as well. Once it's been verified, the output indicator will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection to your monitor. So under normal operation, the power, input, and output LED should all be lit. To the right of that is an ARC indicator and an ARC button. This unit works perfectly fine with a standard HDMI signal, but it can also take advantage of the advanced HDMI ARC signal. So if you have equipment that's compatible with an ARC product, once you make your connections, you can tap that button to turn on the ARC function, and this LED will come on. To the right of that is a bank of EDID switches, and those are used to adjust for different frame rates, resolution, and audio styles of the media content you're playing, and they're fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a service port, and that's used for updating firmware on the module later on if new versions are released. And to make that upgrade happen, you'll connect this up to your computer using a micro USB cable, move the firmware to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the modules where you make all your connections, starting on the left you'll find a full-sized HDMI port labeled input and source. That connects to whatever media device you'd like to use with the product. To the right of that is another HDMI port labeled output and TV. That connects up to your monitor, and you'll want to use high-speed HDMI cables for both of these because it can support up to 8K content. To the right of that are two output connections for your audio. This is a standard optical connection. It's an SPDIF. And to the right of that is an analog left and right 3.5 millimeter connection. You can use either of these or both of these to connect your audio equipment. If you have a newer soundbar or stereo, you can use an SPDIF cable from here to your stereo or your soundbar. If you've got an older stereo, you can use a standard 3.5 millimeter cable from here to your stereo to move that audio from the device over to your audio equipment. Finally, to the right of that is a DC power port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into a standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray BKA-1 AK audio extractor with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with resolution. This product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second. And that's really important because a lot of other audio extractors in the market may only support 4K content or even 1080p content, which means as you pass the media through this device, it'll actually down res to a lower resolution. With this one, it has an 8K at 60 frames per second input and an 8K at 60 frames per second output, which means you're going to get a crystal clear picture of that higher resolution content. Another big difference is that this audio extractor provides both analog and digital outputs, which means you can use it with older stereos that have analog connections or newer soundbars that require an SPDIF digital connection. The unit also provides advanced EDID management capabilities, so you can make whatever adjustments are needed to accommodate whatever type of file you're playing through the unit. And then finally, this unit can accept both a standard HDMI input signal as well as an HDMI ARC signal. And that's important because a lot of the newer gear has HDMI ARC or ER connections, so you'll want to know that your audio extractor can handle that type of signal. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit. It's an incredibly simple product to use, and I hope you found this review helpful. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.